This comes from the bottom of my heart. You're a pig. You really are a pig, Ehrlich. Shirley was right. You're a pig, Ehrlich. You know, Shirley and Jackie were right. You are a pig. You're a pig, Ehrlich. You're a pig, Ehrlich. You're a pig, Ehrlich. Yes, sir. Has anyone ever told you you're a pig? Yeah, a couple people. That's for you. You're kidding. So cute. Bye. Ehrlich, you're a pig. Ehrlich, who's your designer here? Calvin Swine? What did you say, Fiscus? Don't get mad at me. Have you seen the back of your jacket? You've got to be kidding me. Ehrlich, you're a pig. That's very original. They didn't even spell Ehrlich right. This is not funny. Whoever is doing this, it's not funny anymore. Enough's enough. I'm not an animal. I'm a man. And if anybody here agrees with that, please oink. Ehrlich, you're a pig. Lately, I've been acting like such a pig. I know most of you have found it necessary to call me a pig this past year. You see, you have to understand Ehrlich. He has the potential of being a brilliant surgeon. But he comes from California, and he has a tendency to be, uh, well, you know, to act like a uh, pig. Mm -hmm. It's a pigsty out there. And you should feel right at home. Clint? You're a pig, Ehrlich. Victor, you recognize that voice? Oh, no. Victor Ehrlich, this is your life. Mrs. Huffnagel. So glad to see you. Yeah. Ehrlich! You swine! What's that? What did he say? Thanks for the surgery? No, he said only a pig would drink his own bath water. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> is that what you think? That I'm some sort of ulterior pig who only cares about getting his ashes hauled? Took the words right out of my mouth. Bob, I realize sometimes I'm kind of like a pig, but with this new awareness of my condition, I can finally do something about it. I want you to think I'm the pig you've heard so much about. You're looking at the pig poster, child. Is that your foreseen way of saying she's divorced? You're up front about being an... An oinkster? <laughs> I know. This may sound fishy coming from a pig like me, but... As a physician and a healer, I know I should be more attuned to the feelings of others. But doggone it. You know, whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong, whether I find a place in this world or never belong. I've got to be me. I've got to be me. What else can I be but what I am? I'll go it alone. 